want to leave this place where we grew up This old town, just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids so we could see And hear the water run River's gonna cry when you're gone River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Visit Scenic Idaho for yourself. For more information on scenic byways like the St. Joe River Byway, check out our sponsor, the North Idaho Travel Alliance, at visitnorthidaho.com. We also want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to Amanda Reinhardt in Harrison, Idaho, and Alex and his team from the Coeur d'Alene Bike Shop. Uh, plans were canceling, things were changing on us, weather wasn't cooperating, and we were really struggling. And Amanda and Alex really just stepped up for us and went out of their way to give us a hand. If you're ever in the Coeur d'Alene area and, or Kellogg and you need a bike, check out Coeur d'Alene Bike Shop. You can rent these bikes. So big thanks, Alex and Amanda. We really appreciate you. And now, back to the show. Here we go. Ready? Stop on it! Oh, God. <laughs> Another beautiful day in North Idaho. And I'm actually serious about that. I'm finding this place beautiful. The uh, last couple days, our mojo has been lacking. Let's just put it that way. Uh, middle of the trip, tired, hungry, things like hot water and rooms not working or plans falling through like ice fishing because of no ice. Uh, have really gotten us down and uh, we've come up with something. What do you think the five stages of travel grief are? I worked it out. Ignorance, denial, blame, depression, 
and then finally acceptance. That's my camera, folks. It's not my belly, <laughs> just so you know. Camera. And acceptance usually happens towards the end of the trip when uh, the end is in sight and you start to just appreciate where you are and where you've been and what you've seen and what you've gotten to experience and how special that was. Maybe in the moment it didn't feel special. It felt like a chore. It felt like work. It felt hard. Um, my ass crack is a little wet. But once you get over that hump, um, you accept it, you relax, and you're able to find beauty even in the, uh, even on the darkest days, I guess, if you want to be poetic about it. I think I'm gonna buy one of these. Oh my God, I know, they're sick, aren't they? Can you imagine just commuting to work every day on one of these things? Okay. You fly. And I've reached that point, I've reached acceptance, and uh, it feels good. It feels good, you know. This is the trail of the Coeur d'Alene. Hundreds of thousands of people come here every year to ride this. And when you think about it without that acceptance, you're like, God, where's the sunshine? I want to ride the trail of Coeur d'Alene in the, in the sunshine. But once you gain that acceptance, you just start seeing the beauty in it. It's like, here's Harrison, this, this bustling city in the summertime that just fills up with people enjoying the lake, enjoying the trail. And this time of year in February, it closes down, everything closes. No one's here. And we have this trail all to ourselves. You just gotta find the positive in the situation. And uh, in the end, uh, if you relax, everything will work out. So here we are. This is Harrison, Idaho, and the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene.